One person's in jail, two more wanted after a brazen drive by shooting in Iberville Parish, and this was all captured on a ring doorbell camera. And tonight, investigators say the video shows exactly what the pair is capable of. The investigative unit, Chris Nakamoto, obtained the video, which is tough to watch. Sylvia Michael, it looks like a scene from the wild, wild west. Instead, it's in the heart of Plaquemine. Tonight, the homeowner whose cameras captured the shooting says the individuals involved have the entire neighborhood worried. This ring doorbell camera captured a brazen and callous shooting days ago. In the video, you can see at least two individuals firing at a car that drives past a house. When the car exits the frame, more gunfire. A resident who lives in the home where the video was filmed says this situation has everyone saying enough is enough. I feel like, you know, it's, it's actually too much going on and he should be um, arrested and prosecuted. To the full extent of the law, because I mean, since he's been living across from me, this is the third shooting. When the shooting happened, their aim was so bad, no one was hit. Among the 40 or so rounds fired, one hit the car, the other went through the window of the home that had the ring camera. I'm very concerned that someone's going to get killed. I mean, on the second shooting, his, uh, his grandmother actually got a bullet in the What we call Simoville. Iberville Parish Sheriff Brett Stassi says the shooting stemmed from a prior shooting earlier in the night. Investigators arrested Khalil Parker, charging him with criminal damage to property and conspiracy to commit second degree murder. Two other individuals, Jaros Batiste and Tyreek Rivers, who lives at the house where the shots were coming from, are wanted on the same charges. You want to take care of your community? Stand up and say, look, enough's enough. We've said it. I've said it. Enough's enough. I'm tired of the shooting in Iberville Parish. I tell every time I want Baton Rouge to stay in Baton Rouge. But this is homegrown talent. Stassi says what's most concerning is the fact that there's no telling where the other bullets went. They got to understand you, you got to draw the line. You're either going to be a good citizen or you're going to be a gangster or a criminal. And, and they want to they wanna walk the chalk line. There's, there, there's no way to keep walking the chalk line. For you, enough is enough because someone could have been killed. Oh, like my you God. Said. Look, God forbid some baby like they had in Baton Rouge get killed in the bed, some grandmother, a uh, stray bullet. And when you see the video, you're going to know. You, you're not, you're not going to believe the amount of rounds that they fired in a neighborhood and nobody was hit or killed. With so much to be fearful of, residents that live in the area say they want to see Rivers and Batiste turn themselves in. You don't feel safe. You don't know when um, bullets are going to fly. It's, it's, just not, it's just not a safe uh, living condition to be in. Investigators believe one of the individuals might be out of state. Two of those involved did not have criminal records and were actually told they were high school athletes. Sylvia Michael.